Hello out there, Mr. Corcoran with a uh, brief overview for what is going to be a, a week that will speed by. The uh, project checklist is almost identical. There's one change here. I added a table cart tidiness video for uh, table groups, and that's this video here. The video on the left is that's the same. It's, it's how we, um, or you, how students fill out their reading logs and writing logs when they're writing at home. If they're choosing to write at home, please write at home. Uh, and this video is uh, how we organize our table carts in class so that we can um, be more efficient with starting and stopping activities and knowing where things are. So those that, that's important. Here, the other the so that's um, I took off the yellow highlight, but take a look at that first. Uh, the other thing we're focusing on uh, project wise is our fictional story. I'd like for you to take a look and remind yourself um, what are the things we're looking for in your main character, uh, the story idea, and after that is the uh, setting and the challenge and struggle that your character goes through. And we started in our um, writing book, we started uh, that double page spread of adjectives, adverbs, um, no, sorry, nouns, adjectives, verbs and adverbs and then when you're writing your excuse me your draft today and i like oh sorry monday today's sunday uh when you're doing your um your draft monday uh just be aware of using um, descriptive language for both uh how characters and the setting looks but also how um how things sound uh, so adverbs adjectives etc let's see uh Book rec I mean, everything else is the same. Uh, for the fictional story, I added an assignment uh, to our writing workshop. We have, most of you are doing fictional narrative, but for those of you that, that are doing um, non-realistic fiction, so fa if you're writing a fantasy story, um, that you would submit it here. And then when we come back from Thanksgiving break, that's when you're gonna do your uh, fictional narrative. Okay, so one of one of each would be great. What else is a noteworthy thing? Oh, book recommendations. Uh, so this is uh, also something. So Monday, I think I took a look at the schedule and what I thought was for for this week, um, remember our, our, our days, this is the last week where we end at 140. For Monday, our focus will be writing. Tuesday, the focus is reading. Uh, and then I'll have other focuses for the other days. So when you are logging onto your Chromebooks on Monday, the, the main focus is to first write your draft. And then if you can type your draft, uh, Tuesday, the focus is going to be your reading, uh, bookmarks, um, book recommendations and, and all that. So, um, that's the gist, uh, the no art with Mary on Thursday, we're going to be doing a, um, uh, PE room, room 19 PE in the multi-purpose room again, this, or yeah, in the multi, this time we'll do more, um, a lot of basketball drills. Um, so look forward to that. Cool. Uh, hope you're, hope you're ready to, uh, have one more burst of, uh, productivity before the week off for Thanksgiving. Um, that's all for now. Aloha. Au revoir.